friends, this is Mrs. Morrow, and on this video today I wanted to show you guys how to make the sloth craft. So this is the sloth craft that I have for you guys. And the writing for the sloth craft is actually what we've been working on this week. We have the story map um, that went with it, and then we took our story map and we used it for the writing activity, and all I've done is just copied it onto the craft here. So we have our writing assignment that goes along with our craft. So these are all of the pieces that I have for the craft, and I just wanted to show you guys really quickly how it goes together. So I'm going to move my writing out of the way, and I'm starting with the sloth's face here. I'm just going to flip that piece over. I've colored them. I have them cut out. And what I tell my guys in class is that it's kind of hard sometimes to glue onto things that have been colored crayon, especially if you color it kind of heavy like we tend to do in second grade. Um, so it might, you know, be a little bit stubborn, and we might have to use a little bit of extra glue just to make sure that it sticks really well. So there is my face. And now I had the four little hands. Um, and this is totally up to you how you want to um, have these little hands stuck on here. Your kids can decide how it goes. But I put the little claws onto the little hands. And these are the back feet. So this is the front feet, and this is the back feet. Put my glue on there. And this is what made sense to me. You or your kids might want to do this a totally different way, and that's fine. That's why I love arts and crafts so much, because it's really up to you. Um, this is just kind of a guideline to go by to help you out. So there are the front feet. and the back feet. Okay, those are glued, and once those are glued, then we're gonna take our pieces and glue them onto our right. So here is my big writing piece. I put my name on it, this is Moro there at the top. It's the first thing I do, and it's always the same. I pick up my pencil and I write my name. So make sure that we have those names on there. Even though we're doing school from home, it's still a good idea to keep those practices in place. So make sure that we put our name on things. So I'm going to put some glue right there, right above my name, right above Mrs. Morrow. And if you think about the little sloth that this is the chin on his head, you're just going to stick it right there. Now, since you're doing this at home, um, I probably wouldn't do this in class, but since you're doing it at home and you have access to that, you can actually flip it over and put like a piece of tape right back here to kind of reinforce it and make the head stay on better if you wanted to if you're having problems. So that's that part and now here's his front hands, his little front paws. And I don't want to cover up my writing because we worked so hard on our writing and we you know try to use such good handwriting and we want to be um, nice and neat and organized like an owl. So I don't really want to cover up my writing because I worked so hard on my writing. So I try to kind of put it right there where it's not covering up anything important. Okay, so that is just adorable on its own. And then down here at the bottom, we can put our back feet in the corners. Like he's kind of like he's kind of hanging on to the writing. Ta da! So our little sloth craft is going to be done. This is what he looks like. Hold on, let me see now. There's the top of it. Our writing in the bottom. So you can see it here in the corner. Ta -da! He is just adorable. I absolutely love it. Um, I love doing crafts because it just lets the kids be creative. And I feel like the kids work really hard on the writing. They should get to be able to do something fun with a craft. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope that this was helpful to you and useful to you. Um, and I hope that this is something that you guys are going to enjoy doing with your family. I love you guys. I miss you guys. Bye. See you next time.